so guys back to this issue of immigrants eating heads that's cats and dogs so like I said before as you can tell I'm an immigrant happens to be a citizen now because I've been here for quite a while and for the first time I'm gonna take this opportunity to thank this great country the US for the opportunity that you've given a lot of us as immigrants it's not easy to take you know people in from all over the world and impress them and make them your own so you've really changed most of our lives because you know the reason as to why we came over is because of the American dream that we heard of since we were young and we happened to come from you know third world countries that you know they don't have much to enjoy they're not bad countries per se it's only that uh, they're a little bit behind when it comes to economy and cost of living so and to make this clear immigrants are not bad people they're not a threat to rule of law or they're not a threat to economy in any case we work very hard and by working hard we get to contribute to the economy of this great nation so for example i'm right here i'm a truck driver so i work for about six days every week 10 hours every day and apart from benefiting from me from this hard work I also contribute something to this great nation we've never failed to file for taxes we pay taxes like anybody else which is you know a responsibility that we embrace because we are able to get out there and make some money so that's not a problem so I know we have a problem with immigration all over the world not everybody in this United States that is here illegally some of us we are here legally and we have followed all those steps that, that are required for somebody to be either a permanent resident a asylum seeker or maybe a citizen in that case that applies to me because I've been here for some time now so to put it clear to Donald Trump President Donald Trump because it was my president some times back uh, JD Vance or the vice president nominee for the Republican Party so when we hear that uh, we eat pets you know pets are just like our own kids that we have in our houses so I got two boys plus a dog those are three boys that I have in that house so if I hear because I'm black or I'm an immigrant that I'm eating a pet it's an insult to my conscience and uh, insult to my pet that I have in the house I've never heard of any person life alive or dead that uh, has eaten a dog or a cat those are the stories that I get to hear in this first world country we don't even hear them from where we come from we can be third world countries but still people don't eat cats and dogs do you want to know what I eat so this is my lunch this is my lunch right 
you know what is in here these are some corn with some carrots with some green peas with some cabbage it's vegetables these are not cats and dogs these are no more vegetables and if we have to eat meat we eat beef or we eat chicken we eat pork we eat goat meat and we eat lamb like anybody else does so telling us that we eat cats and dogs is a bit off and it hurts and we feel like we don't belong and now there are threats all over the place when you talk with an accent somebody thinks that we we are from asia actually there's no difference i'm from africa black so i don't think there's a difference between an african immigrant and and any other immigrant in that case so i don't know it's hard it's heartbreaking but we still embrace and we know the majority of the americans are good people we love this country with our heart we are willing to work so hard to better our lives as well as if i we can be able to contribute in any way to this great nation why not so to put it clear to president trump and vice president nominee J jd banks sir no immigrant eats pets thank god in this country we have enough food uh, we can work very hard and afford the basic foods that we need we don't have to kill pets as food or slaughter dogs and cats we don't we don't so anyway thank you and god bless america